Really uh, whoa, whoa, track. what's that behind you? I think that's your car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of upset you're selling this thing. The 2003 Sonic Yellow. That's rare. I didn't want to sell it, but it's just bug guy. Dude, man. I was talking to Senpai the other day about buying it, man. And Damn, then, you didn't and then tell you me. Sold, no, you got good money for it, so I'm happy. I wanted to keep it though. Hey, it's too much cars, man. Too many. Too you many have a lot of cars. Stock radio, stock everything. Gotta clean it up, of oh, course. Man. Look at that radio. The interior. <laughs> yep, it's never touched. I'm upset to see this thing go, but uh, you gotta make moves. <laughs> so this is Enzo from Supreme Raps. I just wanna say thank you for hooking up the tent. Dude, Senpai killed it, by the way. You got the decal too? You guys need decals? Let us know. Special you have a, decal. You have a printer or something? Yep, we have the plotter, we have the printer, we'll just, you know. You ever see those, uh, the Arizona iced tea cans and you see people that- Yeah, they have that, that yeah. Do you think you could try that? You imagine we'll try. <laughs> I think that might be sort of close to their slogan. Supreme Raps, you imagine we build. I'm gonna make sure to put their Instagram in the bio. Make sure you guys hit them up if you need anything. Raps, tent, a, exhaust. Yeah, she got hit, she got in an accident. She took it to some, some other shop. Look what well, they did, man. That's not good. That's not Supreme right there, bro. Wait, so, oh man, look at all that Bondo under there. That's not so Supreme. No. Just look at the, all that metal, man. Nope. It didn't push it up. So what's your plan? So we're gonna fix this. The whole quarter panel has to go. Like, look at this bondo, man. Like, look how <laughs> thick this is. Man, oh, my. that's crazy. <laughs> really I love whoa, this whoa. what's that behind you? I think that's your car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, somebody dropped it off from Nagasaki, Japan. Can we see the inside? I, I, I like that. Um, boots, man, where'd you get that? <laughs> Come shopping, you gotta bring me. Villa Strip, we'll go one day. All red, red interior. Look at those seats. All the detail. I love it. Hey, what's up? I'm Senpai from Supreme Raps, and I'm gonna teach you how to tint your car. I have to take off that tinting of my car. The easiest way to do it, since you had this already like popping out, yeah. come at it from the other side with a heat gun. Okay. Kind of give it a steady pull. You give it a steady pull. Oh, shit. Look at that, it's coming right off. I'm gonna try to rip the tin off of these windows and then we'll be right back. It's been a while since I've seen my car with no tint on the back half, but I'm ready to get some good tint on this half. It's just me and Senpai getting his wrap on. With the Hellcat. Let me show you Senpai's ride real quick. Man must be expecting snow, but it's like 80 degrees outside today. So right now we're just removing the residue, whatever is left on the window. We're taking that off so that there's no air bubbles, no dust particles underneath. 3M back on my rain deflectors. I appreciate that, bro. We're gonna cut it, do all the laying on the outside, and then when it comes to the install, we'll do the install on the inside. Getting that five percent, Jones. So I talked to Senpai about the front half of the windows being tinted, and in Jersey, you're not supposed to do that. Senpai, I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna tint the front half. We're just gonna roll with the back half. What are you gonna do? We're in Jersey. When I tried to tint my car last time I made the video, go check that out right up here. I left the rain deflectors on, and obviously you shouldn't do that, because look at- Senpai just rolled, you just rolled. No, you, you could. After I cut like the big piece, I take my squeegee and I tack it down, so that it doesn't move. And then I take like a marker, and I mark out the essence. Because at the top is the clear piece, and that comes off when we lay it. So you're not going to see that. And then, so at the top, spray. Get out. And when I tried to cut the top of the tent, it was like, Oh, wobbly. <laughs> okay, so the X I can't take my finger, because you want the edges rounded out to make it easier to work with. Yeah. So I take my pointer finger, cut around. I go I go over the line. Leave a little space? Yeah. Okay. 
this is the hard part. Well, Shrinking one, it? Yeah. He's leaving a little bit on the bottom, but there's also an overlap up here. Like, you don't need to shrink the whole thing. How big of a border on the top and bottom are, would you say? And on the side? You just gotta wing it. Wing it? Because <laughs> you, you don't need to shrink the whole thing. You want to get a good chunk of the remaining. Okay. And then when you're shrinking, you have a lot of these like lines. We call them fingers. And you want to you want to heat it up so that it gets all like squiggly. Like, yeah, squiggly. Squiggly. If you have the big ones like these, like the big fingers, you want to kind of like split them up. It will freeze. You recognize that WRX right there? That's my buddy Vince's car. What's going on guys? If you've ever washed your car in one of those car washers that look like this, you're doing it wrong. Let me show you how to really wash your car. Imagine this, first guy gets his car washed, second guy gets his car washed, third guy gets his car washed with all the same brushes. They're not cleaning those brushes. So all that dirt on all those cars is just collecting on those sponges, on those brushes and just wrecking your car. Just killing the paint, scratching the paint, giving you swirls. Do not go there. Let me show you how easy it is to wash your car Correctly. Start with a normal rinse. Entering that moon in. Rinse straight down. Oh, wrong way. Power washer's going. Here we go. Start washing that thing. So you are rinsed, my friend. All right, step two is the triple foam conditioner. Yep. Grab the gun, son. Whatever technique you're using, that's fine. Coat your car in that stuff. Rub it in nice and deep like with that microfiber sponge. No other sponges. Everything microfiber when you're washing your car. You understand? You understand? Look at that. Nice. Step three, sponge it. But that's what friends do. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this GoPro. Beautiful. Now the car is sponged. Next step we're going to go for is rinsing. Crank it back to rinse. There we go. All right, my friend, your rinse is complete. Before you start drying. Ooh, that's a little wax. Hit your panel. Then dry. And when you start drying it, it's gonna get super wet. So what I do is just wring the towel out and just keep going until it gets too wet where you need a new towel. Dude, look at that. Dude, I haven't seen this thing shine in ever. It's been a long time. I haven't washed this shit in a long time. <laughs> I can see my reflection. See, it is blue. I told you it was blue. <laughs> While Vince is drying off his car, I'm gonna pull mine in, I'm gonna wash mine, but you guys don't need to see that. Let's just go right over to Supreme Wraps and get that car tinted. Uh, okay, so that water's helping you hold it down while you feel the smart, smart move right there. There we go. Nice. So what are we bringing the heat gun for? Um, I like to heat up the top. Okay. So while I'm tucking it down, it doesn't come down. Okay. As a rag, so that when I'm pushing the water up, it doesn't come back into the tent, it comes into the rag. As you're peeling. Okay, feel the rest. You want to spray it. You don't want it to hit this because there could be a lot of dirt particles there. And then, since you know you sprayed the water, it should just drop right in. Yeah, when you're good at it, it should just drop right in. Man, you see what I did tried last time. Oh my god. I'm push all the hair out. Water anymore. You want to push that all out. If you don't cut it well enough, it's not going to look good. If you don't shrink it good enough, like there's a lot of things. If you don't do well enough, it's not going to come out good. This tint's pretty precise. Yeah, it looks pretty precise from out here. Mark does this a lot better than I do. <laughs> I'm using my cording tool as a guide to where I have to cut. 
I'm just pushing it up against it. People use their fingers, but I don't have nails. <laughs> you don't have nails, neither do I. It's not a lot to shrink, so I only shrink it once. But it's always good to shrink. This isn't a movable window, so the trim is a lot different on the inside. It's a lot tighter. Don't mind the uh, strange odor coming out of my car right now. Sometimes my girlfriend leaves coffee in there with milk and it gets real rank in there, dude. So the hardest part is this. This is really tight. So you kind of just have to pray that you can get in there. <laughs> in my opinion, this is the hardest window to tint. To tint well, anyway. It's an awkward window. Why do you have two windows? Why couldn't they just make it one window? What do you think? It looks freaking good to me, man. There we go. I still can't believe that I get to look at these cars. So right now I'm outside of the shop and I'm kind of nervous. I made a deal with Enzo that if he tints my car, I shoot him a short promo video for the shop. Senpai tinted the car and right now I'm gonna go inside, show him the video and see what he thinks. So while I'm doing that, why don't you guys also check out this short promo video that I shot and tell me what you think. So I just got back from the gym and I realized that I never showed you the final product of the tint. Let me just tell you guys, Senpai and Supreme Wraps killed it. They got the tough window tinted. They got that window tinted, this little guy tinted. The back, beautiful, tinted. All 5%. Huge shout out to Supreme Wraps. Thank you so much for taking care of my car. Let me give you a sneak peek for next week's video. If you guys remember back in the day, I tried to wrap my headlights. And since it didn't work out the first time, I ordered another roll of yellow and I still have that roll upstairs never used. So I'm gonna go into Supreme Wraps and they're gonna help me wrap the headlights. Next episode is going to be great. There's so much new stuff that we're gonna be doing. I can't wait. But until then, I make a new video every week. I guarantee it. Check out all the videos before this one. Get caught up with the channel. And I will see you guys next week. Peace.